Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Enjoy Learning Computer Science. In this video, we are going to discuss about the list data type in Python. Come on, let's dive into the topic. Do you know what is a list? It is nothing but a set of values or a sequence of values of any data type separated by comma and it should be enclosed within square bracket okay so a list can contain values or any data type separated by comma and enclosed within square bracket okay now look at the example l is equal to 100 200 300 comma 400 so all these are integer data type separated by comma and enclosed within square bracket bracket similarly the next one l is equal to a comma geo comma 34.8 comma 660 you can see the first a is a character geo is a string 34.8 is a flow data type 660 is an integer so it is a sequence of different value values of different data type enclosed within square bracket and separated by comma okay now l is equal to empty square bracket there is no elements inside the square bracket so this is also a list this is known as the empty list okay so now let's uh, check the data type of the list so type L. So, what is L? Blue, pink, red. It is a set of strings. Okay. Now, what is type of L? It is giving the output as class list. It is a list data type. So, a list stores a sequence of values of any data type separated by comma and should be enclosed within square bracket. The empty list in Python is represented using the empty square brackets, no element inside the square bracket. That is the empty list. Now, there are two ways to create an empty list in Python. The first one is just assign any variable is equal to empty square bracket. This will create an empty list. Okay. Look at the example L1. L1 is the name of the list variable is equal to empty square bracket. This will create an empty list. Now let's check the data type of this variable L1. So type of L1. See it is displaying list. Okay. So this is a list. Now the next method of creating an empty list is using the list function. So you have to assign a variable and use the list function. Okay. So L2 is equal to list within parenthesis i didn't give anything because we are going to create an empty list now let's check the type of uh, this l2 variable so it is giving a list so empty list in python is nothing but empty square bracket without any elements inside Now let's learn how to create a list from keyboard that is from user's input. Okay, so the first method is using list function, right? So look at L is equal to list of input of enter list elements. So whatever input you are giving, each character will be considered as the single element of a list. So I have given the input as A, C, E, G, I, K. Now you can look at the list. A is the first character in the uh, input. So that will be the first element of the list. Then C is the next character. So C is the second element. So each character will be considered as an element of the list. So this is using list function. Okay. Now suppose you want to enter the um, uh, input as a list itself. Then you have to use eval function. Eval of input of and then get the input. Look at the example L is equal to eval of input of enter a list. So I am giving the input as a list itself. So this 23, 45, 56, 78 is the input. Now let's display what is L. It is a list 23, 45, 56, 78. So directly we can give as a list as inputs. Indexing in list is the same as indexing in string. Forward indexing and backward indexing. Forward indexing begins from 0, 1, 2 till size minus 1 from the first uh, character in the forward direction. And backward indexing begins from the last character minus 1 and it starts from minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 etc. till minus size in the backward direction. 
Now, how to calculate the length of a list? The same as string, len function. So, len within parenthesis, the name of the list or you can give the list directly. It will calculate the number of elements in the list. So, look at the example. L is equal to A, E, I, O, U I have given. Now, what is the length? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the length of the list L is 5. This is calculated using the function len. How to access single element of a list? Yes, it is using indexing. Let's look at an example. L1 is equal to list of C, H, E, R, R, Y. This is a list. L1 is the name of the list. Okay. Now let's index this list using forward indexing and backward indexing. So forward indexing, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Backward indexing starts from the end, the last letter. So, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Now, let's try to access the single element E. Okay. So, what is the index of this letter E, of this character E? So, 0, 1, 2. So, how will we access this um, element E? Name of the list is L1. Within square bracket, specify the index which is 2. You will get the output as E, okay. Now let's try to access the single element Y using forward indexing. So what is the index of Y? It is 5. So what is the element uh, variable name? L1. So L1 within square bracket 5 will give you the single L character, single element Y. Next let's try to access uh, the character, the element H using backward indexing. So what is the index uh, of H uh, using backward indexing? It is minus 5. So the list variable is L1 within square bracket minus 5 will give you the output as H. Now let's try to access an element which is not present in this list okay let's try to give an index which is not present so i am giving l1 of 6 this index 6 is not present in this list hence python will raise an error stating list out of range accessing multiple elements of a list this is also using indexing Let's look at an example. L is equal to C O M P U T E R. Okay, this is a list. So let's uh, index this um, list using forward indexing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Backward indexing from minus 1, minus 2 from the back side till minus 8. Now let's try to access O M P, the, ele the elements of the list O M P. So what is the starting index? What is the index of O? It is 1. What is the index of P? It is 3. So when you want to include the element P also, you have to give the next index because in the range, last index will not be included, right? So we have to give print L of starting index is 1, ending index should be 3, so, you have to give 3 plus 1, 4. 1 colon 4 will give you the output O, M, P. Okay. Next one, print L of 2 colon. The starting index is 2. Ending index is not given. So, when the ending index is not specified in a range, Python will print you from the starting index and all the characters of the list from the starting index till the end. So from 2 it will start printing M, P, U, T, E, R till the end of the list. That is the output. Now print L of minus 7 colon minus 3. Starting index is minus 7 which is O. Ending index is minus 3. That will not be included. So what is the previous one? It is minus 4. So your output will be O, M, P, U. Traversal. So what is traversal? Accessing and processing every element of the list. Okay. Accessing and processing one by one element. Every element of the list is known as traversal. Now how do we traverse a list? Using the for loop. In string also the same thing. We use the for loop to traverse a string. Similarly for traversing a list we will be using the for loop. So first let's declare a list. L is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. I want to print all the elements of this list one by one. So for loop for any variable I in the list L 
print i so it start printing from the first element till the last element 10 20 30 40 so one by one element it is processing it is accessing so this is known as traversal you must have enjoyed this session thoroughly i think the concept is very clear to you for any queries you are always welcome to comment and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for further updates you can share with your friends also thank you enjoy learning computer science